Hello, my name is Janet Elber. For most of my career as a dancer, I performed with a dance company directed by Martha Graham. Martha is known as one of the great creative minds of the 20th century because she revolutionized the world of dance. Early in her career as a dancer in the 1920s and 30s, Martha was a pioneer of a new art form called modern dance. Modern dance evolved out of a revolt against traditional ballet. Ballet often presented dances which were escapes into other worlds with beautiful dancing animals or flowers or mythical people. Modern dance was, and still is, concerned with presenting real human issues and finding a way to communicate about life as we experience it. As part of this revolt, Martha was determined to find a way of moving that described our own individual thoughts or emotions. She often said her dances charted a graph of the heart and she created a new way of moving that had never been seen before. In the dances that follow, you'll see how Martha took emotion and transformed it into physical expression. In 1930, Martha created a dance called Lamentation. Throughout this short work, the dancer is seated on a bench and shrouded in fabric. This costume, which is stretched and pulled by the dancer, was well ahead of its time, and it accentuates the conflict and the emotion of the dance. A lamentation is an expression of overwhelming grief. The figure in this piece is struggling with intense sadness, but you should look for many other emotions and ideas in this dance. There are anger and denial, even confusion. The figure searches for comfort or understanding, and there are moments of intense stillness or control that explode into great silent cries. Martha based the movement in lamentation on recognizable everyday gestures. In fact, the ballet starts with the dancer shaking her head as if to say no. This rocking gesture becomes much bigger. The dancer throws her body from side to side as if she doesn't know which way to turn. She lifts her hand and tries to stop the whole idea or reaches out for some kind of help. She tries to control herself and stop the pain. But this only breaks into another great sob or cry. In Lamentation, as in all of her dances, Martha was striving not to simply represent the emotion, but to become the emotion. You can watch Lamentation as if you were watching a woman grieving, or as if you were looking at grief itself.
1932, Martha Graham choreographed a solo titled Satiric Festival Song. We think this title came from the satyr plays of ancient Greek theater. The satyr play was the comic relief in an evening of serious drama. It mocked the other works of the evening and was bawdy and irreverent and really made fun of serious theater. Martha was also studying Native Americans at this time, especially the clowns of Pueblo ritual, who, similar to the satyr plays, provide the comedy as part of serious religious dances. The costume in this dance represents the apparel of these Native American clowns. In satiric festival song, Martha makes fun of her own serious pieces. Unlike Lamentation, where the figure is deep within her own thoughts, the character in satiric festival song is very extroverted. She's a performer. Her first gesture is a great salute to the audience, where she says, look at me. She flirts with the audience. She scolds them. She clowns and flips her hair at them. She tells them about the great art she is about to present. And then she checks to make sure they're listening. She makes mistakes and spins and gets dizzy, faces the wrong direction, and then has a good belly laugh about it, slapping her thighs and tossing her head back, just as we all do when we find something funny. Martha Graham was truly a revolutionary artist in her time, likened to Picasso and Stravinsky. She worked until her death at the age of 96. She created 181 dances. Her school is the oldest school of modern dance in the world and her company continues to present her great works. Thank you. 